What's up, y'all? This is Sire back with another reaction, y'all, from the Fat Man's podcast. Y'all, I got another reaction for y'all. Before we get to this reaction, y'all, please hit that like button and subscribe button, y'all. And share this video with everybody. See your family, friends, whoever you see. And tell us, God, to the Fat Man's podcast, y'all. If you have any comments, opinions, thoughts, or anything, go ahead and pop in the comment section. I do read all of them. I'm not responsible, but I definitely do read them, y'all. But Let's get into this reaction, y'all. It's some the accountability T TV. So, um, it's my man Anton Daniels. Uh, I don't know if you guys know who that is, but his name is Anton Daniels. I watch him uh, every day. He, he uh, his show is called the Mil the Millionaire Morning Show. Uh, he doesn't post it in a while, but he just posts his videos now. But yeah, so he he owns he owns this channel with him and his uh, business partner called uh, J, uh, Le Peep Jr. And they have a show every Thursday. This was last Thursday. Uh, he has a show on uh, Thursday, which is called um, Le P Plus Talk. So you have you have a whole bunch of women and men. There's ten of them. Men, women, sometimes equal, sometimes not more, sometimes more women, sometimes more men. But I guess this woman, I guess Anton was about to ask, uh, was trying to uh, incite her on some stuff, and she got mad because I guess he he uh, they said she said that he brought up his her father, uh, which is not true. But what's in the video? I saw the little clip of it. Only a little bit, but what's good up in here, y'all? Are you, are you married? I'm not married, but I'm. I'm I know married. you're not fucking married. You don't know that I'm not married. I'm I not do married know because, because I can I tell by that badass attitude. Listen, you all met. You already about to snatch dreams out the air. You're shaking your head. You're talking with your neck and shit. You're mentioning shit that nobody even ever brought up. I never brought up your fucking father. with a man listening to his woman to get some advice from her it's not saying that you're not a man because you're not hearing your woman out or because a woman is telling you what to do all of us came from a woman so when i'm hearing anton speak which i'm not just keep trying to relate to him he came from a woman as well so it's like are you telling me you never listened to your mom growing up because you're saying that a man don't listen to a woman like that make you less of a man I'm just confused. So that's why I was just like, balance was right. And I just didn't want to say anything because I'm still confused on the first conversation and I, I haven't got past that yet. I'm, I came, you come from a man, you come from your daddy's balls. Your woman, your, the mama is just the egg. You ain't your mom the oven. 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 You came the oven. from a woman. Your dad did not oven. give birth to you. Your, mother your mom, mom just, is your just mom was just, a, was just an incubator. You come from your father. That's where you come from. I don't know. Listen, I can't speak to your personal situation, although you did mention it. I'm not going to speak to your personal situation, but let me help you to understand something. The dudes that came before us, and again, this has nothing to do with So this is where this is where it got left. Now, I only watch a little bit of this, but this is where it gets, get, turns left, y'all. All right, y'all. What's you was simps. They were weak. They said, I'm not going to, my they dad said happy life. I'm not talking about you. Okay, well, I, I want to clear that up because my dad wasn't a simp. Did not. Oh, you, you're not a good. Li you're not a good listener, right? And I'm a great listener because this is my no, first time. This is my first time saying anything back to you. I listened to you earlier and didn't I even know you I prefaced the conversation me. twice by saying that I was not referring to you specifically, and then you went to go on about how it is that this is represented. This ain't about you. This I came life. back and I said I wanted to make that clear that my father was not a simp. But it's the same thing you were doing with people earlier. You don't like when somebody do something that you do. You were doing this to people earlier when they were speaking. All I'm saying to you is my father is not a simp. That's not you an argument. Right, <laughs> my father is not a simp. That's all I was saying. 
And how would you know? I know for a fact my father how? is not a simp. How? My father is very intelligent. And my father is what do very being intelligent got to do with being a simp? It doesn't matter. He wasn't a simp. How and we're going to leave it at that. And know? I'm not going to allow you to say my father's a simp because he's not. I never simp. said that he was. But see, but listen, you just but he said, never said how do he, I know he, that? He, he never I'm called your father a simp. No, no, no. Hold on, Mr. Lego. Let, let me cook. Let me cook. You, you know how I know that your father was possibly a simp? He was not a simp. Do you know how I know your father was possibly a simp? Because you automatically triggered by it and nobody called him a simp. I'm triggered by it because my yes, father right. was a great man and I don't allow nobody to talk crazy about my but father. But nobody mentioned you your daughter? father. Do you nobody you mentioned your father. Did do anybody you mention did anybody mention do, your father? Do you have a daughter? Did anybody mention your father? Do you have a daughter? I do. Okay. If your daughter was I sitting on this panel, you would want your daughter to speak highly of you as well. I'm not, not gonna if, allow not nobody if nobody to speak asked, my dad. If my nobody dad asked simp. about me, period, he's not a simp. If and I'm nobody asked that, about me, if nobody asked about me, see, are you are you married? I'm not married, but I'm, I'm I know you're not fucking married. You don't know that I'm not married. I'm I do married know because, because I can I tell by that badass. <laughs> we got we got running back, y'all. We got running back. We got running back, y'all. Okay, now watch now watch. <laughs> <laughs> now watch coach uh a balance watch her face watch my life uh yo it's good not nobody if nobody asked my if my nobody asked about me period he's not a simp and if I'm nobody asked that, about me if nobody asked about me see mm. look, are, you, look. are you married i'm not married but i'm, I'm, I'm not not I even stop to it <laughs> damn uh, no you're right. not fucking married I I'm do know because, because I can I tell by that badass attitude. Yeah. Listen, you all met you already about to snatch dreams out the air. You're shaking your head. You're talking with your neck and shit. You're mentioning shit that nobody even ever brought up. I never brought up your fucking father. Not once. As a matter of fact, I made sure that you knew. Wait a second. If you if you be quiet for long enough Shut to up, let somebody bitch. actually talk, you don't have to respond to something that I didn't even say. If you just be quiet for five seconds, you will understand the sentiment and then you probably could get married. You would, you would not be impacted by all of these fucking stories that you heard inside of your, your, your salon. You, you, you know what's crazy? You are judging me when you don't even know me. So if you let him you don't get on the defense, you don't even know me. Hold on, y'all. Rashawn, okay, okay, Rashawn. Rashawn, okay, don't okay, Rashawn. No, wait, wait, wait. Stop, 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 He's the only person on this panel. I don't have to know you if I ask you a specific question. I'm not married I'm not married. I didn't get it three times. I, I guarantee you I heard that a so thousand times that, from a bunch of chicks okay. that was masculine as fuck. Me, but you just said that if I listen. Hold on, y'all. Ooh, I'm cracking up. I've been gay three times, but like, are you, wait, wait, this is, this is, wait, what? Women, this, like this, are embarrassing. What? I've been engaged three times. Women. Like, oh, women like this are embarrassing. <laughs> Every time we're on honor, boy. Well, first of all, it wouldn't even be enough rails if she'd just been quiet. He, he, he didn't say nothing about her, her father at all. Nothing. And he said before he even got into the conversation, ma'am, I know you talk. Like I was saying, there. I mean, there ain't even no, uh, even talk about his father. Her father, I mean. She just got bad just because she, because she wanted to. Nobody said anything about her father, none of like that. Um, this is sad. She got to select hearing like the one, co one, one comment said. Because he, he said before he even got in the conversation. Uh, I know you talk about your personal relationship, none of that. Okay, uh, this is not about your father. Then he said it twice when she got mad. This is not about you. Then he kept on saying it four, five times. This was wrong with some of y'all people. Some of you, some of y'all people got that selected here and here for anything. He didn't even. This, she, she, she just mad. She just mad. But I feel like she just don't. No, I don't know. I don't know. I know I wouldn't want to deal with no woman like this. I just got this left hearing. Nobody even said nothing about her father. Then the reason why Anton said, oh, 
I know what I know. I know I'm I'm. I think that your father was a simp because of your behavior. But yeah, let's get back into. It. I don't want to go on the whole tangent. Let's go up in here, y'all. Y'all see what's going on. I will be married. That's yeah, because you ain't quiet enough to actually. Those women saying I've been this, engaged. This, this is what I guarantee. You. I guarantee you, after this show, you're gonna have a life life reality check. Because it's not gonna sit well with you. And the reason it's not gonna sit well with you is because you're wrong as fuck. You over talking after you said that you said that you don't over talk. You you led with that fake ass femininity when you first came on the panel. I don't over talk. I don't even respond. And now look at you. You you ain't out of character. This is who you fucking really are. And all I did was bring it out of you. See, the unique thing about me is that if you sit around me long enough, I'm gonna bring that bullshit up out of you. And you can't sit here and sell me something that ain't real. I knew you wasn't fucking married. And now, because of your behavior, not because of your father, but because of your behavior, I'm questioning whether or not your father is a simp. And the reason I'm questioning whether or not your father is a simp is because there's no way that a, that a dude that's not a simp daughter is going to be on here talking that bullshit, leading with that fake ass femininity, and then going to come on here trying to talk to me like you know what the fuck is going I don't think you really knew what you was getting yourself into. Finish her. I'm not the one. I'm going to tell you the fucking truth. I'm not here to sugarcoat. I'm not trying to get on your good side. None of that. So either you can take the advice so that you can actually get the results, and it ain't even got to be the results when it comes to marriage. It got to do It got to do with how you moving as a woman. That shit is fake. And all I'm doing is calling it out. You expose yourself. So you can take this shit and move differently, or you can continue to lead with that fake ass femininity and not getting the results that you want. And lead to your father. Which one you want? How you gonna move? Because all of this is bullshit that you're selling right now. It's fake as fuck. Fatality. <laughs> hey, yo, no, 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 wait, no, I Plus, know. Man, how many times have we have seen this shit? Hey, yo, I know you ain't got the minister of me more here. Yo. Look, women don't listen, they interpret. They right, they so there was a lot of interpreting that. So ladies, just period, everybody just watching or whatever, understand that a lot of the times when you try to argue with a man or a woman, you're interpreting what somebody said and you just go down the fucking rabbit hole when you don't necessarily need to. We have to, well, y'all have to, because men don't do this, stop interpreting what somebody said. He said now, hold twice. On, Mr. Lego, Mr. Lego, Mr. Lego. Yeah. The reality is that I wanted to be successful. My general sentiment in life is to have everybody that eventually come in contact with me take something positive out of it. I'm not saying this just because I wanna get on her or some shit. I'm saying it because it's real. And I'm not sure if the people that's in her inner circle, and I don't know who's in her inner circle, I'm talking about her friends, you know, any dude that she'd have never interacted with. I'm not sure if they've ever actually been honest enough to tell her the truth. Because I'm not emotionally attached to her, or I don't have any personal vendetta, I don't even know her from a can of paint, and she don't probably don't know me. I can be real. I'm going to tell her the truth. That shit is not kosher. That shit is not cool. And she's basically, I never even said anything about her father whatsoever. I nope. prefaced the conversation twice by saying, this is not personal to you. This has nothing to do with you. And then she went on a tangent about her father. Now, what is that supposed to say? What does that communicate? Women don't listen to interpret. Because communication is 90% body language. It's 90% of the things that you don't say when you're not supposed to say it. It's not the thing that you're trying to communicate communicate to other people. I pay attention to that shit. I'm not listening to what she's saying. I'm listening to how she react. And I and I pay attention to like really focus in on the things that people say when they first come on the panel. I paid attention when she said that shit. She said it. Oh, I don't cut, I don't jump in and all of that. Well, what the fuck is this? I want her to be great. And I hope this shit burn. I hope, I hope this shit bother. All right, Rachel, Rachel, Rachel you can go she, ahead and cake Rachel. I hope that she toss and turn all fucking night and she see me in her dreams and that shit is like, I hate that fucking Anton. Because at the end of the day, it's real. It's real. And, and this is how women learn how to be around the masculine men. Yeah. I know you're she looking going to get a, back. Or, or going to a thing go ahead, Rachel. She's going to move a little bit differently, bro.
Damn. Uh, that he went nuclear on her. God damn. We damn. <laughs> he said. He said. He said. I hope you tip. I hope you turn and and flip and everything in your bed. And I hope you see me in your dreams. I want you to say, I hate that air time. I said, damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, she got a piece. He got uh, Anton gave her a piece. Uh, I mean, Anton gave his piece of mind to her. God damn! Look, <clears throat> look when he shut her down. When he, when he said, when he said, if he, I'm I'm questioning that your father was a beta because of your behavior. Just look at her. After that, she just. It just look like she froze and then like her whole her internet went out for a minute. Just frozen. She ain't even put her eye. Watch. Need to. We have to. Let me see. Point it out. You expose yourself. Uh, so you uh, identity, and then gonna come on here trying to talk to me like you know what the fuck is going. I tell me is that if you sit around me long enough, I'm gonna bring that bullshit. Hey, you know, on a That's listen, listen. Times. I was masculine as fuck. That's yeah, because you, you ain't quiet enough to actually understand. Those women saying I've been this, engaged. This, this is what I guarantee time. you. I guarantee you, after this show, and the reason it's not gonna sit well with you is because you're wrong as fuck. You you led with that fake ass feminine. Now look at you. You you ain't out of character. This is who you fucking really look, are. Look. And all I did was bring it out of you. See the unique thing about me. But that Keisha, that Walmart Keisha out here. If y'all if y'all get the joke, y'all let me know in the comments. Is that if you sit around me long enough, I'm gonna bring that bullshit up out of you. And you can't sit here and sell me something that ain't real. I knew you wasn't fucking married. And now, because of your behavior, not look, because of Look, look, look. After that, he she just oh, not a word. Silent, deadly, deadly silence. Deadly silence. We could have gave him a, a the stank eye, the death eye. God damn. She got exposed so bad she was stuck. <laughs> exactly. She I thought her her damn screen had froze for me. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh. Oh my god. Anti anti definition uh definition of putting black women in place. Anti for the win. Will you make it? Will you making the ass ass of your yourself as a person? Damn! Oh my God! Bodied her! Wow! Finish him! Finish him! I'm more. I'm my mortal combat voice. In my mortal combat voice, we will all come from a man. You come from the feet of a man. True. Though man, uh, though Anton was right in the argument, he showed how he still, how he still a sucker. He spoke to her in a in a manly, in the manner because he knew he could. He could never talk to Kayla that way, and that's document proof of this. This is this was like watching Will Smith slap. Nigga, you a hater. Oh my bad. I didn't mean to say that word. Anton Anton may have been right, but the delivery is unnecessary. Man, shut up, man. <laughs> I'm willing to bet the matter of fact. I know if it was a man on the street, he wouldn't have all that voice in his in his voice. And he he would have came correct. Real recognize real. I can see through him. He's on. He's one of these fake brothers. Look at this. Look at this. These are straight, straight beta boys, boy. I swear to God. Give a fuck if you a man or not. I told her, you know what, y'all? This is the video, y'all. Please hit that like button and subscribe button. Share the video with everybody. See your family. Your family, friends, who ever you see, tell us to subscribe and hit that like button for me. And if you have any comments, opinions, thoughts, y'all tell me what y'all tell me what up in the comments, y'all. Osiris out from the Fat Man's podcast. Y'all see you guys on next. Episode. Peace out, y'all.